An arid desert, a thirsty land. This is the driest region of South Africa. It seldom rains, with little vegetation. In summertime, the temperatures often reach 50 degrees Celsius. To make a living here is almost impossible. Fortunately, in this desert is a precious gem, the mighty Orange River, South Africa's largest river. These life-giving waters are opening up exciting new possibilities. Formerly, this arid land could only support livestock farming. Up to 150 years ago, before the inhabitants were able to utilize the water of the orange for farming, the banks of the river were thickly covered with impenetrable undergrowth. Since the beginning of the 20th century, the surrounding landscape changed dramatically. The undergrowth on the riverbanks were cleared and made way for new irrigation farms. Weirs in the streams and canals were utilized to irrigate new crops. In those days, long before electricity became available, it was impossible to extend the irrigation farms to the large desert plains away from the river. Early attempts to raise the water above the riverbanks were limited to the primitive water wheels that were able to push the water to the farmhouses above the canals. Electricity, however, changed all that. Enterprising farms, such as Karsten Farms, started to develop their vineyards on large tracts of desert plains and in between the barren hills high above the riverbed. This new development, together with a strong growth in the export market for seedless grapes, resulted in Karsten Farms developing new export grape farms in the desert along the Orange River. In the middle 80s, the uh, die nieuwe tendens begin in Europa, vooral in the UK, with uh, meer vraag naar pitloze drijven en een wegbeweeg van van gepitte drijven. En dat was voor ons een groot geleentheid, want ons kon toen onmiddellijk omswaaien en om die pitloze drijven uit te voeren naar die naar die Verenigde Koninkrijk. En uh, en dat het uh, was een baie goede tijd en het was baie goed in aanvraag. En zo is die tijd aangelopen, dat die vraag is al groter geworden. This enabled Karsten Farms to expand tremendously. Today, they are farming on hundreds of hectares of previously empty desert land along the river. They are changing a large arid desert into a green oasis. Karsten farms along the river are constantly expanding. Although seedless table grapes are their main focus, the farms are also producing large quantities of other products such as raisins, watermelons, citrus, melons, dates and millies. On these farms, thousands of dedicated workers ensure that only fruit of the best quality are produced every year. Although Karsten Farms also produce quality products for the local market, their main focus is the markets of the United Kingdom, Europe, Scandinavia, the Middle and Far East. And we have been growing from the beginning, but we have been that that uh, it is so intensive, we have to give our people and our people, it is very important, 
om te deel met hulle, deel te maak van die bezigheid, eindenaarskap te gee. The company believes that growth is only possible if they invest in their employees. It is important for them to share the company's success. Different share schemes enable permanent workers to share in the success. Ownership motivates them to give only their best and to be proud of what the company achieves. With the help of the Orange River and its people, Karsten Farms are not only making their dreams come true, they also make the desert bloom. Daarom is ons lees ook, dat ons sê, ons wereldklas vruchte vir wereldklas mense.